Hi, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and lesson 15 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam preparation course. In this lesson, we cover the T5A questions from the question pool, which deal with electrical principles. The T5A section of the question pool covers current and voltage, conductors and insulators, and alternating and direct current. All right, let's get started. Electrical current is measured in which of the following units? Well, electrical current is measured in amperes. And this is something you just kind of got to memorize. Um, if you've had any high school physics at all, you sh this should come pretty naturally. But electrical current is measured in amperes. Electrical power is measured in which of the following units? All right, power is measured in watts. It's another memorization question. But once again, if you've had any type of uh, high school physics, this should come pretty naturally. And most of these questions will, actually. So just remember, power is measured in watts. What is the name for the flow of electrons in an electric circuit? All right, flow of electrons is called current. So current, flow, it's associated with each other. It's easy to remember. What is the name for a current that flows only in one direction? All right, current that only flows in one direction is called direct current or DC. Um, your average battery is a good source of direct current. It only flows in one direction, has a positive negative end, and doesn't alternate. Now for the exam, you're going to need to know the difference between direct current and alternating current, and we'll get that in, we'll get into that in a later question. But the answer to the name of current that flows in one direction is direct current. What is the electrical term for the electromotive force (EMF) that causes electron flow? Now, electromotive force it is voltage. Now, voltage can be compared to pressure pushing water through a hose, except it's pressure pushing electricity through a circuit. So the more pressure, the more force, and that's electromotive force to be exact. Um, if you notice on batteries, a lot of them have voltages on them. In fact, all of them do. Um, that's the amount of force that battery has to push electrons through a circuit. How much voltage does a mobile transceiver usually require? All right, you got to sit back and think about this question. A mobile transceiver, so something you would put in your car. Now, if a mobile transceiver is pulling electricity from your car, and your car is a 12-volt battery, chances are it's pulling 12 volts. So the answer to the question is 12 volts. So just remember mobile, car, car battery, 12 volts. Which of the following is a good electrical conductor? I mean, this is an easy question. Metals make good conductors because there's little resistance for electrons to flow through them. And some metals are better than others. Uh, there, on the exam, there's only one metal in all the possible answers, and that metal is copper. Everything else is an insulator, and we'll get into that in a later question. Just remember, metals make good conductors. You're looking for a metal. Which of the following is a good insulator? Now, insulators are just the opposite of conductors, and in that insulators provide a great deal of resistance, which inhibits electron flow. So like wood, glass, rubber, these are all good insulators. Um, there's only one question on the exam that is not a metal, which is a good conductor. And also, don't forget that mercury is a metal, even though it's uh, a liquid. So metals are good conductors. Insulators are not. The answer on the exam is glass. What is the name for a current that reverses direction on a regular basis? Now, this goes back to that uh, direct current question we had before, except this is exactly the opposite. Current which reverses direction on a regular basis or alternates direction is called alternating current or AC. Just remember, alternating current reverses direction on a regular basis. Which term describes the rate at which electrical energy is used? Now, when you're talking about or describing the rate at which electrical energy is used, you're talking about power. The answer to the on the exam you're looking for is power. So don't get confused with some of the other questions. This is one of these questions that you pretty much have to memorize. Um, there's really no trick to it. The rate at which electrical energy is used is power. What is the basic unit of electromotive force? Now, if electromotive force is voltage, then it makes sense that the unit would be volts. So just remember that electromotive force or voltage, the basic unit is volts. What term describes the number of times per second that an alternating current reverses direction? The answer is frequency, and this, this is a fairly straightforward answer. So if you think how many times does a current change directions in one second, you're trying to find out how frequent does it happen. So this gets back to frequency. So what term describes the number of times per second that an alternating current reverses direction? The answer is frequency. 
And that's it for the T5A review, and now it's time for the quiz. So take out a pencil and paper, and number 1 through 12. When you're done with the quiz, you can go to hamwhisper.com and check under the exam, pa exam answers page under the T5A link and get the answers to the quiz. I'm going to go through the questions pretty quick, so if you need more time, as always, just pause the video and take all the time you need. And with that said, let's go ahead and start the quiz. Question 1. Electrical current is measured in which of the following units? A. Volts. B. Watts. C. Ohms. Or D. Amperes. Question 2. Electrical power is measured in which of the following units? A. Volts. B. Watts. C. Ohms. Or D. Amperes. Question 3. What is the name for the flow of electrons in an electrical circuit? A. Voltage. B. Resistance. C. Capacitance. Or D. Current. Question 4. What is the name for a current that flows only in one direction? A. Alternating current. B. Direct current. C. Normal current. Or D. Smooth current. Question 5. What is the electrical term for the electromotive force EMF that causes electron flow? A. Voltage. B. Ampere hours. C. Capacitance. Or D. Inductance. Question 6. How much voltage does a mobile transceiver usually require? A. About 12 volts. B. About 30 volts. C. About 120 volts. Or D. About 240 volts. Question 7. Which of the following is a good electrical conductor? A. Glass. B. Wood. C. Copper. Or D. Rubber. Question 8. Which of the following is a good electrical insulator? A. Copper, B. Glass, C. Aluminum, or D. Mercury. Question 9. What is the name for a current that reverses direction on a regular basis? A. Alternating current, B. Direct current, C. Circular current, or D. Vertical current. Question 10. Which term describes the rate at which electrical energy is used? A. Resistance, B. Current, C. Power, or D. Voltage. Question 11. What is the basic unit of electromotive force? A. The volt. B. The watt. C. The ampere. Or D. The ohm. Question 12. What term describes the number of times per second that an alternating current reverses direction? A. Pulse rate. B. Speed. C. Wavelength. Or D. Frequency. And that's it for the quiz and the T5A lesson. Now that you're done with the quiz, go to handwhisper.com, go to the exam answers page, and check your answers under the T5A link. And until next time, in lesson 16, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.